Chris here from anabolicmen.com where we bring you 100% research-backed men's health advice. Now today we're going to be talking about uh, five of our favorite ways to increase uh, androgen receptor density and activity in your body. So one of the things that, that a lot of guys don't even pay attention to at all is the, just the reality of androgen receptors. So you know everyone's willing to, to uh, invest a lot of time, a lot of money into into training and, and lifting or whatever they're doing uh, and some guys even go the route of investing a ton into into steroids which which you don't need to do uh, but they, they don't really understand the role that androgen receptors play in uh, the whole you know in ho hormonal environment and uh, the the way that they can actually maximize the power of the androgen receptor to build a body that they like and a body that is a very masculine physique so androgen receptors are basically the binding sites for androgens, which makes sense. So the androgens are testosterone and DHT. So you have, in your lower body, you have a set amount of androgen receptors in the muscle tissue that can be, that can, that can bind to, you know, that androgens can bind to. In your upper body, you can actually increase the density of androgen receptors in your muscle tissue. And so today we're going to uh, talk about five research-backed ways that you can increase androgen receptor density. Now, uh, the first one is intermittent fasting. And so intermittent fasting has obviously become very popular over, over recent years. Uh, ever since lean gains came around you know, a, while, a while back, I guess ages now. <laughs> and then uh, Kino Body has made it very popular as well. And we talk about it a lot here on the blog. And so intermittent fasting is, for those who don't know, is basically uh, fasting throughout a period of the day and then eating the rest of the day. And this, this could be, it doesn't need to be uh, hyper-structured, but it could basically be just skipping breakfast and then eating lunch and dinner. It could also mean, you know, you could go on longer fasts and, and some people even do multi-day fasts. And uh, I'm going to show you some research here that can, that'll corroborate that even, it, it appears as though naturally your body, when you fast, uh, starts to uh, not only increase insulin sensitivity, so so the receptivity of your body's use of insulin, but it also will will uh, have a similar effect on androgens. So uh, what we see in this study right here, uh, that it, this study is from from uh, Sweden, and it showed that that fasting for between 12 and 56 hours can increase the responsiveness of testosterone uh, by up to 180 percent. Another study, and this one this one was kind of an extreme level, but it shows you the, the it'll illustrate the point that I'm trying to make here really well, where in, the, in a 10 day water fast, I'm not advocating that you need to do a 10 day water fast, but, uh, and we'll put this graph up on the screen so you can really see what happened. In a 10 day water fast, uh, and then res resuming eating afterwards, these people were followed as, as they consumed the normal meals after the fast. So, that, so they basically, the subjects went 10 days, uh, they, they were measured their Androgen levels were measured every day during the fast and then plotted on this graph and uh, Then they were also measured five days after the fast so we can see Basically what it would look like uh, to have this this kind of a big androgen response after the fast and, and basically what happens When you look at this graph you can tell their testosterone levels shot up like crazy after the fast so uh, they, they seem to have a downward trend Which and actually one guy his testosterone went up during the fast for the most part, these guys had a downward tread in testosterone, but even not as much as you would think uh, throughout the fast, and then a, a massive upward spike uh, when they resumed eating in their testosterone levels. So uh, you can see with one of the guys, he started above 1,000 and really only dropped down to about 800 nanograms per deciliter throughout the 10 days of the fast. So you know, a lot of people think that, that uh, fasting will, will just, you know, crank up their cortisol and kill their testosterone, but it's not necessarily the case. Uh, it, it'll actually have a smaller effect on your testosterone during the fast than you would imagine, but you see a massive rebound after the fast. So in that guy, he, he started over 1,000 and uh, went down to about 800 on, on the 10th day of the fast and then shot up over 1,200. It looks like about, about 1,250, 1,300. There was another guy who started at 800 went down to about 600 through the 10-day fast, and then during the refeed, 
went up to 1600 nanograms per deciliter, which was literally a rebound that doubled his testosterone levels, which is pretty impressive. So really what I'm trying to say here is I'm not saying go fast for 10 days. I'm just saying that, that fasting uh, appears to prime the body for androgen receptor sensitivity. So uh, you can use that to your advantage. Now the next thing, the second thing to increase androgen receptor density is uh, resistance training. And this is kind of a no-brainer. Uh, there have been a lot of studies that show that uh, in trained men, there are significantly higher androgen receptor density. Uh, there is significantly higher androgen receptor density in their muscle tissue. And I'll, I'll show you uh, the study right here that shows that. And, and this is versus non-trained individuals. So they compared guys who train versus guys who don't. And then also different types of weightlifting lift, methods yield different degrees of androgen receptor activation. And, and it's not surprising that lifting that is more explosive and power oriented, that, that also constantly challenges and, and uh, pushes limits, is what will release the, the biggest hormonal response and seems to have a great androgen receptor uh, response. So it, it, this, this basically follows what, what we've been talking about for years, uh, what's known as a testosterone work principle, which basically uh, says to activate a large amount of muscle mass in as short a period of, of time as possible and while still maintaining proper form. And uh, basically you need to just do that and stay under the uh, stress threshold so that your cortisol doesn't get too high. Now, a lot of people will go and train and do really explosive movements, but but get you know do it so many times so fast with so little rest that they end up overstressing their body, becomes counterproductive. Those people end up you know throwing up. That's a good sign that you know you're you're crossing the stress threshold when you're throwing up, feeling nauseous. But you don't have to get that extreme with it. You can basically do a lot of work on your muscle tissue, at on as much muscle tissue as possible in as short a period of time as possible, and you're going to reap the hormonal benefits from that. Now, uh, and, and we talk a lot about that in the, in the Thor program on Anabolic Academy, and that, that also has uh, exact training routines and everything you can follow. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about, and I've actually been using this, uh, the next couple things, um, I, I've been doing the first few things also. This, this year, I've gained about 18 pounds of mass since uh, January uh, by, by focusing on th this proper way of, of optimizing my androgen receptor density. And a lot of people, people that know me, people that have seen me in the past, uh, they've known my, my traps and my shoulders and arms have, have really, an upper chest have really, really developed and uh, morphed over this period of time. And that happens to be where you have a high, very high concentration of androgen receptors in your muscle tissue. And you can really see it, it becomes pronounced when you see guys who do steroids, anabolic steroids, because they get these huge, huge traps because they're, the, the muscle tissue is very dense in uh, androgen receptors up there. But one of the, the little hacks that I've been using is actually taking carnitine on a daily basis. Now, carnitine occurs naturally in meat, and it's, it's one of the things that uh, a lot of vegans and vegetarians, people who don't eat meat, actually are missing out on uh, in a big way because it's very hormonally useful. So basically, it transports uh, lipids into the cellular mitochondria to be used as energy, converts into androgen receptor activity within those same cells. So it, it'll upregulate the androgen receptor activity because of that. Uh, this study uh, sh was, sh or those effects were shown in this study right here, where three weeks, three weeks of L-carnitine, L-tartrate supplementation at two grams a day was able to significantly increase the amount of androgen receptors in uh, human subjects at rest, which is cool. Now, the, the same researchers later replicated this study with exercising subjects uh, to prove that this time, uh, with actual muscle biopsies, that in trained men, this L-carnitine, L-tartrate is even better at boosting androgen receptor content than what is seen in guys who are sedentary. So these two studies really uh, do a good job of illustrating how powerful L-carnitine is for uh, increasing androgen receptor density. Now, and the bottom line on, on carnitine is basically to take uh, between a gram, uh, one to two grams a day, well, especially if you're training. This will really help a lot. And then I also recommend hitting, you know, hitting your shoulders, hitting your traps really, really hard in your training. And you can typically do, do uh, traps even like multiple times a week. So the next one is uh, levodopa. So, and, and really, oh, and here's, well, let's see. Oh, here's the L-carnitine powder that I was talking about just there. And now, uh, Yakuna has a lot of L-dopa in it. 
Now, L-DOPA is it's found it's found in high quantities in Mucuna, uh, which we have this on the anabolic men marketplace. And I, I did a recent video on Mucuna that that talked a lot about it. But basically, as icing on the cake. It, it, it does a lot of other things because it raises dopamine levels in your body, but it acts as a coactivator protein to androgen receptors, which basically enhance their, enhances their activity. So by, by taking mucuna, which contains a lot of L-DOPA, uh, while you are training, especially if you're stacking it with L-carnitine, uh, you're going to have some really good benefits with your androgen receptor density. And what I recommend is taking somewhere between 250 to 500 milligrams of mucuna per day to, to achieve the best results. Now, last but not least is everyone's favorite drug <laughs> is caffeine. So caffeine is obviously you can go and, and easily get it anywhere. People love to drink coffee. I love to drink coffee. But uh, what we see is actually in, uh, in this rodent study here, for example, they're just low dose caffeine that can actually increase T, DHT, and androgen receptor uh, expression. Now, basically, what, what it does, what caffeine does, is it st stimulates the cyclic AMP enzyme inside the, the cells that host the androgen receptor. And then the cyclic AMP then stimulates another enzyme called protein kinase A, which then regulates the glycogen, uh, sugar, and lip lipid metabolism inside the receptors, which basically enhances their activity for binding to DHT and testosterone. So caffeine is a really useful stimulant to take before you train. And I actually talk about it in the Test Shock program. I've talk, I talked about it years ago where there was research showing that uh, when you train in the morning, uh, you can actually use caffeine to offset the negative circadian effects of training in the morning when your body is not really primed <coughs> hormonally to, to benefit from it. But the caffeine seems to offset the negative effects and kind of equalize everything. So in conclusion, oh, and just another, another trick on, uh, on the caffeine thing. So basically, the caffeine actually activates androgen receptor, dense, or androgen receptor uh, um, activity in the same way that forsklin does, which I have up here to show you. Forsklin. Uh, so by, by in, in, uh, increasing uh, intracellular cyclic AMP levels, so you can actually get uh, similar results when, you, or even better results when you stack the caffeine with forsklin. So, so basically, I, I want to put together a quick, to end this video, to put together a quick uh, conclusion and action steps for you to take to really maximize your androgen receptor density and activity and re receptivity uh, in your body, so that you can maximize the training that you're already putting in, all the hard work you're already putting in, to uh, you know increase um, you know muscle volume more quickly. So. The first one is to drink some coffee every day. Drink, drink coffee, have caffeine in some format. You can, especially if you're fasting, so drinking the coffee while you're fasting. While you're fasting also, I would recommend uh, taking some forsklin. So use, use a dose of forsklin. Preferably still fasted, later in the day you can hit a uh, heavy workout. So something like the Thor workout or uh, any of the workouts in the Test Shock program. Uh, or just your favorite resistance training routine, if you're, especially if you're using really explosive movements and activating a lot of muscle tissue. Crush a heavy workout, still fast it if you can. Now, after that, break, a fast, break the fast with a huge uh, post-workout meal, and then also include one to two grams of L-carnitine in, in that meal, and your body's gonna be very receptive to this meal, as we've seen when uh, breaking the fast, you're gonna have a rebound in your androgen level in your androgen uh, receptivity. And if you're taking the L-carnitine, you'll, you'll enhance that even further. And then also, before you go to sleep, to just have a, uh, a between 250 and 500 milligrams of mucuna. And uh, yeah, so that is, uh, well, and then if you're on a budget, if you don't wanna be buying a bunch of supplements, an easy, easy thing to do is, is to, to double the coffee intake during the fast, get the carnitine from the red meat, so eat a lot of red meat, when you break your fast, and then you can you can eat a lot of uh, fava beans to to get L-dopa. So that's a good uh, hack for guys on a budget. So there you have it. Those are five ways to increase androgen receptor density and activity and receptivity in your body, so you can really maximize your training. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you uh, like the, you know all the videos on this channel, I, I recommend subscribing, and we will send you emails uh, through YouTube with 
the new videos and I will see you on the next video.